Hey everybody, Chris again from Rasayana. Checking in with you tonight wearing my entrepreneurial hat, my business hat, to talk a few minutes with you about establishing business systems for your business, for your private practice, if you're so inclined. Because this is an area where I feel a lot of wellness pros are lacking are in need of support with. And, and this was my experience too when I started with massage and body work. You know, this kind of work that we do is very demanding. It's demanding physically, it's demanding energetically, emotionally, and um, we have to take really good care of ourselves. And so oftentimes what the business owner falls into is getting so busy running the day-to-day -day operations of their business, they don't have time to work on their business, on scaling their practice to a larger size, on expanding their reach to their target audience, on developing and creating the lifestyle for themselves that they really want and deserve. And there are a lot of different layers of systems that I go over in the live training, but today I want to talk about one of them, and this is the enrollment system. And the enrollment system is going to be one, two, three plus different approaches. It's identifying who your ideal client or patient to work with is. Now, we're not going to fit with everybody's needs. So identifying what exactly you're able to help potential clients with and being able to clearly communicate to them how you're gonna get them there is the first step. And so a lot of you may already have a website or a social media presence online and I think those are two really great beginnings for a practice in order for you to be visible and found online through various search engines and online approaches. I think that the website and the social media presence is, is the bare minimum that you need to have. And uh, once you have established that rapport, whether it's through social media marketing or email marketing, or uh, paid advertising even. Uh, you know, you're gonna establish this relationship with your essential, with your um, ideal client, and through repeated interactions with them, you're gonna establish yourself as the expert. You're going to offer them a little bit of your knowledge for free. And that way they can get a flavor of your personality, your style, and some of the things that you might be able to help them with much like this mini training is an introduction to you for some of my live trainings that I offer. And the business component is a part of these bodywork trainings that I offer because it's such an important component to being success, success <laughs> I can't talk today, successful. It's late at night, I've been massaging all day. Um, but it's important. So having a good, reliable enrollment system is key. You've got to be able to be found online. A lot of this work that we do as massage therapists and body workers is word of mouth referral, yes, but people don't know what Ayurveda is yet and so they need to be educated a little bit about it before they can feel like it's something that might be worthwhile to them. And if you don't have the proper systems for them to find you and interact with you, then you're not going to, really going to be able to take them on a clear journey and lead them properly. So enrollment systems are key. And that might also include your appointment scheduling software and integrating that software with other systems, whether it's your email marketing campaign or your marketing or sales funnel approaches or even your point of sale system, how you're going to collect payments for your services. These are all various systems that I'm going to walk you through in the live training along with some others like strategic planning and management, holding your vision 
for your career goals? Who is holding that with you? And being able to find good coaches and mentors to lead you through that process. There's accounting systems for you to keep track of what services are most in demand and track your expenses to be able to accurately predict what your income will be so that you can plan accordingly and relax from the daily hustle of having to try and find people because you've built and tested these systems in place for them to find you even while you're sleeping. So these are systems that are um, really important to invest time in and to learn about. Um, you know, it's just, it's just not good enough for you just to be a good practitioner. Uh, that's really only part of it. You also have to have uh, good business relations and you have to have good customer relations in order to thrive. You know, insurance companies don't pay for these services in, for a large part. And your client needs to understand the value of working with you and exactly how you're going to take them from point A to point B safely and effectively. And once you're able to do that, and keep that system running, you can automate it, integrate it with other systems, and then you really are able to free up that time and energy, that bandwidth for you to grow your practice and expand your reach and have more time to continue practicing and studying yourself and uh, continuing to evolve and be a good example for your clients. Um, I think that other systems that are important to consider are how you're going to lead your group, the people that you work with, how are they going to be supported and what are their pain points? What are they having difficulty with? What are their growing edges? These are the things that you're going to want to identify and use as a foundation for your business systems how they're going to find you, how they're going to interact with you, and how you're going to lead them. So just wanted to give a little time devoted to that because I think it's an area that a lot of us may not prioritize. And really, these systems are the foundation for you to be able to have the focus and energy to do more of what you love, which is practice your craft and bring more healing to the world. And so we'll talk more about this in the live training. I go through specific vendors that I use and the benefits, pros and cons of working with them. And I would encourage you to consider getting some business coaching on the side or some podcast coaching or taking a class in some of the technology Latin venues for your business um, because you've always got to learn what you don't know in order to keep ahead and especially with technology and the drive of more and more businesses going online you really need to have a strong presence online in order to survive so those are my thoughts i look forward to sharing more with you in the live training and let me know how things are going um, this is lesson three in the mini training. And um, in the next lesson, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how to really perform like a pro. So once you have the theoretical knowledge as a practitioner, you have the practice and experience, flexibility and clarity of mind to be working with your clients, Next, you build the systems to support that practice and interact with them and grow your practice. And then comes this final layer, if you will, of really polishing yourself as a professional, working with other wellness pros as part of a team and um, really allowing there to be some informed and integrated approaches to people's health and well-being. So. I hope that helps and I'll see you on the next round.